I've been working on a game. It's called Super Hot Wings, and it's a combination of Super Hot and Wings. Super Hot being a game where you need to control time and play with stop motion, and it gives the player a really interesting mechanic to work with because the enemies only move when you move, and you can plan out your move and look really cool executing it in slow motion. And Wings, it's a 2D sort of like dogfighting game. There's a lot of different pickups. So like if you get different power ups, you get different powers. And that's the main mechanic I'm taking from Wings. My game is called Super Hot Wings. So it's a fusion of these two games. And yeah, let's take a look at the game. First, take a look at the main mechanic, which is the slow motion that I mentioned. Once I put my thumb down on the joystick, it starts to run in normal speed, and then whenever I let go, the game goes into slow motion. Uh, if you have enough energy, which is like this blue bar down there, you can use your power. And then also, with the slow motion, I also made music go along with the slow motion. So it sounds different when you're in normal speed, and then if you let go, it has a it, it sounds different. Currently, I have two different game modes. We've got arcade mode and creative mode. And arcade mode is the one I showed uh, earlier. So there's like, there's money and then there's also combos. So after I killed it, I got this combo bar right here. So it's a timer. And if I get another kill before this timer runs out, then I can continue my combo. So uh, creative mode is a bit different. I didn't make it intentionally, it kind of just happened. Because I wrote this physics engine myself, there's a lot of problems and I needed to debug it. It had to have like an interface in the game. You are allowed to change most of the values or most of the parameters of these planes in the physics simulation. So if you go into this gear, this is where all the settings are. There are three entities right now in the game. There's the player, there's the enemy planes, and they actually spawn at a random range, so their stats are different from one another. Uh, what's most interesting is how unlimited this system is. So you see here that there's a slider, and you would think that, oh, the max acceleration would be limited to 5 to 7. But actually, I made the function so that you could click this, and it would it would open up, and you, you could go like minus 10, and then if you did that, the range of the slider would change. So now it's like minus 10. And then you can go ahead and pull it. So now your max acceleration is negative. And I think that's really interesting because I'm really giving the player all this freedom. Like you could do experiments with this. Also, you could copy. So after you hit copy, it's going to make all of this data into a single string and it's going to be copied to the clipboard of your system. So I could paste it as a comment and I could share my settings share this whole set of settings with anyone. And then you can go to load and you can load it back in. So anyone else can also load your set of settings back in. You can see it's actually just all the values separated by commas. This is actually one of my favorite parts of this game because look now he's flying backwards because of his acceleration being negative. But I know that not everyone is gonna be, find this interesting, but I just hope that for the some people that do find physics uh, interesting, I hope you will find this interesting. And it also gives you a peek at how, how the game works. And then also I have this stats panel that is like dynamically reporting all these stats. I actually made this also because I needed to debug something. Also, another function that I made sure to include is language functions. So now it's in Chinese. All of the stats are in Chinese. Settings, they're all in Chinese. They all work exactly the same, but hey, it's a different language. Um, I hope this makes it more accessible. <music> Um, the game isn't finished yet, but I will make another video by the time it's published on the Google Play Store. In the meantime, if you want to play a very early version of the game, it's just the basic game plus the creative mode, you can go to itch.io. I will leave the link in the description below. There is also an APK that you can download and just put it on your Android phone to play. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. What are you playing? 
that looks like a really fun game. Wanna tell me more about it? What's that? Don't do it. 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 Don't do it.